everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's a bit cold, a bit snowy, slippery and today was supposed to be my hour run and as much as I really want to run in the snow I don't want to slip especially during current circumstances and hurt myself. So I don't really know what the plan is for today but we're going to do something, we're going to get some sort of training in and yeah I do like the snow though. definition of all the gear and no idea oh. <laughs> first ring so winging is up oh snow in my eye oh Dude, did I want through with contact lenses? apologize for the state of my face. I've had a massive breakout since the previous clips that you saw and it's not the prettiest of things to look at but I don't want to cover it up because I don't want to make it worse and and yeah just try your best to ignore it. I mean I could try and blur it out but yeah <laughs> I don't know. Before I actually get started with what I want to quickly talk about I feel like I need to give a little bit of an explanation as to why a pair of gymnastic rings turned up at the house, why me and Jack went out in the snow and put them around a tree and just messed around with them. And basically, the way that I've been training recently has changed a lot. So it started off with hypertrophy training, I then did running quite a lot, got injured, got into CrossFit style wads and stuff like that. I'm now in the position where my main focus is strength and endurance. So. A big part of the strength stuff is trying to incorporate more body weight movements because they are hard. They're a lot harder than I could have ever imagined and it's a great way to engage my muscles, especially the core and gymnastic rings are the perfect way to do that.
bike session that I did that night. I just did 20 minutes. I just wanted to get a good sweat on. And to be honest with you, I have a love-hate relationship with the stationary bike. It's not quite the same as going out and exploring and going on adventures, but it is a big part of what my training is going to be moving forward. So the plan when the gyms reopen is to do two swims a week, two cycles a week and two runs a week. And I just think it's a great way to train for endurance and to not put a heavy focus just on one endurance sport. So obviously running was my thing last year. I was doing it four to five times a week. And now I just don't want it to be like that because I just don't really think it's necessary. And I think just mixing it up makes things a lot more exciting and I can be more consistent with it. Anyway, the entire point of this video is to just quickly talk about why I think injuries are actually a good thing, how you can embrace them and how you can actually come out stronger from having an injury. This isn't me saying that you should go out there and get injured because you shouldn't try and avoid that the best that you can but it isn't necessarily the end of the world. And that was a massive realization for me over the past few months. As you were probably aware, because I might have mentioned it a couple of times on the channel, I was injured last year. It was quite a painful injury and I couldn't do a lot because of it. There were a few tears here and there. I, did, <laughs> I definitely didn't take it well, but looking back, it was probably one of the best things to happen to my training, which is quite a bold statement, but it's true. Injuries are the perfect way to understand what your weaknesses are and what you can improve on. So an example for me is my hamstring. If it wasn't for that injury and going to the physio, I wouldn't have realized how tight my hamstring was and how important stretching was. So like I keep saying in my videos, I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but basically stretching and mobility, warming up, cooling down are all a massive part of my training now. And because of that, I don't have any pain in my hamstring anymore and I definitely feel a lot stronger because of it. Another reason why injuries are good is because they're a really good opportunity to learn from the mistakes that you made. So understanding the things that you should have done or the things that you shouldn't have done. A big reason as to why I wanted to restart this channel again and go into a kind of different direction is because I didn't want people to make the same mistakes that I made. I made a lot of them and I got injured because of it and it put me out for quite a long time but now is a perfect opportunity to learn from them, help other people. And hopefully if you're watching this and you're new to running, you're new to training, you won't make the mistakes that I made and you won't become injured. And then finally, injury is the perfect opportunity to learn, to grow, and ultimately it could be the start of something new. An example of that for me would be the fact that I'm now doing more functional movements. I'm not just running anymore for my endurance. I'm doing cycling, I'm doing swimming, and I'm doing more strength training. And to be honest, if it wasn't for what happened, I wouldn't have gained such an understanding of my body. So I understand what my body is capable of now, what it responds best to. And to be honest with you, I'm not built like an endurance runner, but I'm definitely not. And it doesn't mean I can't do it, but I might have been restricting myself from other things and trying other things. Whereas now I'm more open to trying new things. The way that I'm training is the best my body has ever responded. And I'm getting so much more enjoyment of everything to do with training. So if it wasn't for the injury, I wouldn't be where I'm at now with the training and I wouldn't be considering different things, going into different things and just stuff like that. So yeah, those are my words of wisdom this week. <laughs> Basically, what I'm trying to say is injuries aren't necessarily a bad thing and you can make the most out of it and you can come out of it a better and just a stronger, more resilient person. So next time you are injured, try and look at the bigger picture and make the most out of a negative situation. Anyway, that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. It really does help the channel out a lot. And if you're new, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.